like I've chosen to review and give away the Swan. I've made this 130 Sunbeam and max the legendary perks on it. So you see it's plus crit damage, plus durability, plus water, plus crit rating, plus crit damage and each shot fired grants 1.8 crit rating for one second stacks up to 15 times now the swan is an assault weapon a light machine gun part of the ratwood set fast firing lmg with a large magazine size and ramp up time most effective at suppressing fire after fully ramping up I'm not use this at sunbeam level yet i've only used this at 106 so let's craft this uh, oh here we go knocked in the ground down to the ground. Yeah, let's craft this and hopefully find some fire enemies. Really hoping that a load of fire enemies spawn. Let's just take care of this guy. And I've missed where's he gone. Jesus. Come here. Alright, let's get the smash. Let's reload. Let's walk right. And I actually love this because it crits so frequently. We need to find this guy again. Look at that. It just melts through the miss monsters. Dead. Again, that was a one shot on that guy. Just one hit body shot. It does. Okay, that's incredible. I didn't even think it would be able to do that. That's really, really good. Okay, so we've got this encampment. And let's pray that it is not nature enemies. Anything but nature enemies. Come on. It's water. Okay, we'll take water. Not too bad. Look at this. Okay. Aim assist really screws you over. You've got the blasters here and you melt through them. I think we've got, I've got healing death burst or some death burst. Melting through the blaster. Accuracy isn't perfect on it, but this is on. What the hell? This is one of my favourite assault rifles at the moment. Found the one and only fire enemy in this mission. And there you go. Now I really need to find more fire enemies to show how much damage this can really output. Hopefully a fire smasher, that'll be really nice. I found a few fire enemies, I'm just going to train them first. Come on. Get them in a little train and melt them all. Come on. Right, let's see how quickly we can do it. Full clip, let's go. Melt through all of these little horses. Through them, through them, through them. Oh, I just love this weapon so much. I like the sound in it as well. It's not like a mass really loud. It's just nice and smooth. So we've got a blaster and a taker and a nature enemy that we see. Oh well it doesn't nature but first got the taker. Not taker. Blaster, now we've got the taker. I feel like some bullets aren't registering with this new patch. They seem to just be hitting blank hit markers. I don't know about anyone else. Oh, it even melts through the wrong element as well. That shredded through that. The completely wrong element. Wow. You can use it on any element then. Again, we found another smasher. Let's just... Let's just walk cry. See how much fast we can melt it again. Walk cry. Oh, will it take a split? Oh, let's just empty this because I want the reload. Fire rate. Prop. Oh, I didn't get it in time. That's decent though, 392% crit damage. Oh yeah. By the way, I also use the... Um, but again, first shot reload just because I may know you get the instant crit, the fire rate, the reload speed, and the birthday brigade Ramirez because this is going to crit a lot. You want increased crit damage by 72%, so that's really good. And there's a fire... I don't know, right husky? That we can just shred through like that. Found the rarest enemy of them all. Bye bye. Mission started, and my luck, they are nature enemies, so I'm going to be doing much less damage, but... It's still critting and doing a decent amount of damage against these enemies. Like that, it just shreds, but nature isn't ideal. Hopefully, the second wave of on this mission, they can fire and I can really like, consistently show off how well this gun is. Look at that, there's a smasher. Another smasher, get you. I really like the little um, change they've done to other skins. Like, it just melts even the wrong element of horses. Maybe I should have made this energy. Oopsie daisy. He's melted. Right, let's see if there's any more huskers on the other side. I'll just put those two down here. Oh, yeah. Please be nice to me, game. It just melts. It really does. I say that about every gun, though, don't I? So. What else? Water enemy against. Oh, nature elements. 
the smartest thing. But again, he's just one hitting all the other ones. These ones it's gonna obviously take longer to kill. But even so, it's still doing a fair amount of damage to them. Alright, I'm gonna cut this and hopefully we get fire in the next round. Right, round two time, you know full well it's gonna be water or nature again and not fire. Or will it be fire? Be nice to me, be fire, be fire, be fire. Oh, it's water. Oh well. It still does decent amount against its own element, like that. Tap fire that, I'm missing my shots though. It really does. You see, look at that. Oh, some bullets don't seem to be registering when you hit. Like, what's happening there? Nothing. There, now we kill it. There's quite a lot of bugs in this newest patch, which I'm not entirely happy about. Kill that. Hopefully, yep. Got that for it. Bit of metal. I think I heard a smasher somewhere. Oh, predicted that. Oh, right, melt the smash here. Yeah. The crit procs so much, especially on smashes anyway, because it's getting that 1.8 crit rating. I'm not sure how much that will equate to. It probably goes to about 50% crit chance when you hit all the shots. Which is really good. But it's only lasts for a second though. But it, 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 it can fire what, 8 bullets a second, and because I play first shot Rio, it's more. Because as a with Warcry it increases, I think fire rate and damage, and the re once I reload, it increases the fire rate as well. So maybe when I next Warcry, we're able to see how much the fire rate is. Yeah, I'll try and empty the clip on Warcry when I can. Check the fire rate after that. Yeah, this is honestly this is my favorite assault rifle, rifle at the moment, although. I think it's a new Hemlock rifle, looks quite decent, it looks like an SMG though, so it's not really got that range on it that I like. But the new um, weapons that came out in this patch do look really nice, quite a lot you can build crit, which I'm going to start doing a lot more, build more weapons for crit. Get rid of the Smasher, he's gone. Oh, I'm not sure he even damaged that. Right, we've got Walker in a couple seconds. We'll see the fire rate. Just gonna empty this clip and then Warcry. Yeah, he's so strong even against his own element, apart from when the damage doesn't seem to register at all. Because that's definitely a bug. Like that, look at that. I have to like stop firing and then fire again for it to register. Right, ten shots, then I'm gonna walk right. Right, here we go. War cry. Now let's check the swan. It's got 14.58 fire rate. Okay, we're at 813,000 DPS. That's incredible. That crit chance is 128%, 14.58 fire rate. That's really good. I'll try and work out what the crit chance would be afterwards. But I'm not sure. I'll either put it in the comments at the end of this video if I do. But that crit chance would be really high if you could just hit those 14 bullets in a row. Increases the crit rating by 1.8 each time. Which I think would be... Um, do the maths right. It would be 25-ish. Plus 25 crit rating. 25 point something. Even so. It's still incredible. Shouldn't have built with wood there. Not wood, the brick. This is... Ooh, I really like this weapon. Like, I've been using it over some of the other, like the Gravedigger. I don't even use that anymore. Sal Inspector. don't use that as much as I did. The Wraith, I barely use that now. Um, not that I've not only just got the Buzzcut. The Dragon's Roar, I don't use that anymore. So many of my 106 and 130s I don't use because of the Swan. It's just so good in comparison to them all. Right, as you can see here, you've got the plus 30% crit rating perk, which is already in the Swan weapon, which gives a 28% crit chance. 
there's a sheet that helps me work this out and I've also worked out that the 1.8 crit rate in multiplied by the 14.58 fire rate I get with first shot Rio's reload speed, fire rate buffs, war cry is 26% crit chance and that overall gives a 39.5% crit chance and then when you add the extra additional 10% crit chance built into the weapon I'm actually getting a 49.5% crit chance at maximum with this. Okay for a quick summary where to start the crit it's actually insane I can, I can get up to 45.5 percent crit chance especially with first shot rio you obviously can't get as high with other heroes it's going to stay around the 39 ish mark but still that's incredible for a weapon and it just does a lot of damage in each shot and i find it a, a, such an accurate weapon even though i do have potato aim but it is quite accurate it's a shame i didn't get, manage to get many fire enemies today or that is quite a bug where some bullets aren't registering. The only negative I can really think about this is the mag size. It's supposed to be an LMG, but a 50 mag size and an LMG isn't really a lot, considering you know you've got um, a few that are at least a hundred, and I've got some weapons that aren't LMGs that have over a 50 mag size. Also, the winner of the Whisper. 45 was Zifik, I think that's how you say it. I think you're also the winner of the right attack, the first one we did. So, congrats. Um, make sure you've got me added. And I think you're in the Discord as well. So, I'll get this to you as soon as possible. And I'm also giving away this Swan Power 130, where max crit build, everything, all the perks. Just comment your Epic Games name and power level in the comments below to enter. And I'll announce the winner next week.